The Jake Asman Show will begin shortly. Thanks to all these great Patreon members who help support the show. Get your super chats ready. Jake will be here in just a moment. If you love the New York Jets, this is the place to be. And now, the Jake Asman Show. It's a mock draft Monday, and ESPN has a new twist on who the New York Jets will draft with the number 10 pick. The Jets also have new uniforms, so we have a new intro. Let's hit it and get it started. Man, our Jets are primed for a historic season. We bleed Jets green each and every day. This is not the same old Jets. We have Aaron freaking Rodgers. We have Garrett Wilson. Let's go. We have Brees Hall. Please subscribe and hit the like button below. Super Chat, baby. Cut the line. We have Sauce Gardner. We have Quinnen Williams. The Jets bandwagon is loaded. Now it's time to talk all things New York Jets. It's the Jake Asman Show. Ah, here we go, Jets fans. It's Jersey release day. The Jets making it official earlier. The old school is now new school. And if you want yourself a brand new legacy jersey or a green jersey or a black jersey, go down below, click on some of the featured items. We partnered up with Fanatics in partnership, of course, with the launch of the Jets New Jersey. So shout out to Fanatics. And if you go down below and purchase something that you see featured, guess what? You help support the show and you get yourself some Jets gear on Jersey release day, baby. Shout out to the Jets for getting it right with the jerseys. Uh, I mean, this is what we wanted, right, folks? We wanted the Jets to go back to how it used to be. We wanted them to make the legacy jerseys permanent. Give us a version where it's the green Give us a version where if you want to add the black, you could add the black. But as far as nailing it, tough to feel like the Jets didn't nail it with the jerseys you see on the screen right here. And I particularly cannot wait to see what the field will now look like with that throwback logo on the field moving forward. So good job by the Jets. Good job by Woody Johnson. They got the jerseys right, and we could put an end to the god-awful era that the previous jerseys unfortunately represent but good job by the jets get your gear thanks to fanatics for partnering up with us here on the channel all right we got a lot to talk about here folks first things first hit that like button and subscribe to the channel it goes a long way we are approaching thirty-seven thousand subscribers we got our big mega cast draft show next week shout out to circa for being our presenting sponsor and right off the bat I mentioned that we have some cool giveaways that we're going to be doing. Well, thanks to my friends at ESPN New York, I stopped by the ESPN New York office today because I had to pick up this. One lucky Jake Asman Show subscriber has a chance to win an autographed Garrett Wilson photo that we're going to be giving away during our megacast. So more details to come, but shout out to ESPN New York for making that happen. Folks, if you don't have the ESPN New York app on your phone, you're missing out, man. That is the place to get your New York sports content. So once again, we're live in Vegas next week, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Circa Las Vegas, CircaLasVegas.com. Next time you're in Vegas, you got to book your stay at Circa. All right. A lot to get into right now. Let's now talk some Jets football, shall we? So good insight here from Field Yates and Mel Kuyper, two longtime ESPN analysts, Kuyper, Goes without question, his draft pedigree. But Field Yates is really coming along with his evaluations in the draft, especially. Feels like he's kind of filling in in that Todd McShay role this year with McShay no longer with the company. So Field Yates has his new mock draft out. And this was Field Yates on the first in draft podcast, breaking down what he would do with the number 10 pick for the Jets. I did something that I did not do in my most recent mock draft. I had the Jets take an offensive lineman. I've thought about it a million different times, Mel. Do they go with Brock Bowers at pick number 10, the instant impact tight end? Or do they go with Troy Fautanu, the versatile offensive lineman who's been a left tackle, so actually a front side protector for Michael Penix over the past couple of seasons as a left-handed quarterback, Mel. And I thought to myself, the number nine player on my board, 
a guy who at worst, at worst as a rookie, Mel, is your number one backup at left tackle, right tackle, left guard, and right guard. Because I think he can play all four of those spots along the offensive line. You've got a 41-year-old quarterback who was limited to four snaps last season. Go back and try to find an offensive line that has had consistent continuity for a prolonged period of time. It's very difficult to do, Mel. Injuries happen. Attrition takes place in the NFL, especially when your two offensive tackles are each 33 years old. I said, I need to protect Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers can elevate the level of play for other pass catchers more so than backup offensive linemen can keep Aaron Rodgers healthy. Give me Troy Fautanu in the first round here, Mel, and there's a chance he becomes a 10-year fixture in New York. That's the argument for why you take an offensive lineman, right? Your sixth man, so to speak. That is the argument right there. Why I'm not Bowers at 10. If it's a trade down, it's a different conversation. But that right there by field is where I am at. If you can't get Roma Dunze, why wouldn't you, if you're the Jets, take a guy like Fatano, who's your sixth man, can play every position besides center, and he probably could figure that out too, on your offensive line. That makes too much sense. Fatanu is the guy I would love at 10 because of the position flexibility. If the Jets are as high on him as I am, to me, I would have no problem. They just took him at 10 and called it a day. Because the debate when it comes to the offensive line is, well, is that guy going to play or not, right? Well, chances are not every tackle or guard is going to be healthy for the Jets this year. So you have a guy who could play every position, plug and play. To me, it's a no-brainer. If they can't get Roma Dunze. Now, I think ideally you trade back, but if you love Fatano so much, you don't want to mess with it. You don't mess around with something like this. If you love Troy Fatano and he's your guy, you could just take him at 10. So Field basically ran down the Bowers versus offensive line debate and he switched it up. His last mock, he had Bowers. Now he has Fatano. And to me, that's the guy I would pick at 10. I want position flexibility. That guy's got position flexibility. I want a guy that played against big-time competition. That is tough. That is durable. That's Fatano. I want to give some love to Connor Rogers. Connor Rogers of NBC Sports, SNY, the Badlands podcast. He was the first guy I really heard talk about Fatano as a top 10 pick. And this was months ago. And now, feels like Fatano is rising up a lot of people's draft boards. Mel Kuyper on this podcast with Field Yates responded to the pick that Field made for the Jets. Yeah, the versatility would be phenomenal, Field, because as a sixth man, are you kidding me? You're getting a left tackle who has arm length, surprise people there, right tackle, guard. He could be like Zach Martin. We've talked about him. I love the way he plays with the intensity, okay, the punch that he has and the movement that he has. I mean, he destroyed people at the line of scrimmage, and he was able to get to the second level, maintain balance, and deliver those blows. I think he's better. He would be better than what they have right now in terms of the top five on that line. Now, yeah. they got to keep him healthy. We know that. And they think they're pretty good at, at the tackle spots. But I would make an argument to feel he's going to push his way into that starting lineup somehow, some way, if they do take him. And certainly, if you say, okay, he becomes the sixth man, he's the best sixth man in the National Football League sure. along an offensive line. Right. I mean, if you're the Jets, don't you have to have the best sixth man in the National Football League when you're starting left tackle is Tyron Smith? protecting a 40-year-old quarterback coming off an Achilles injury. Don't you have to have that guy? Patano's my guy, man. If you can't get a Dunze, Patano is my guy. I want to make it clear. And, and the other thing that I think we should consider as well, why do we all assume that Patano can't beat somebody out and start for the Jets? Morgan Moses is on a one-year deal. I love Morgan Moses. $5.5 million cap hit. That's not a guy that eventually can't be beat out by Patano. John Simpson, great story a year ago, was nearly out of the league and then wins a job with the Ravens and had an awesome year. We sure Fatano can't beat him out and be the left guard on this team? Do we know if John Simpson, who signed a two-year, $12 million deal, is locked in to be the left guard? I mean, there should be competition there. So I am fully on board taking Fatano at 10 and calling it a day. I think best-case scenario, you trade back. And you still take one of these linemen. But, man, if the Jets feel like, as Kuyper said, Fatano's the best sixth man in football on their line, why wouldn't you take him? So the more I think about it, the more as we sit here, and my opinion will change like everyone else's opinion because you get new information and 
who knows what's going to happen between now and next Thursday night. But I, I feel like if you love Fatano, you don't want to risk trading back and losing out on him. What if you move back to 15 and he's gone by then? If you love the player, you take him. And then if you really want to get a receiver, trade some capital next year in your third round pick and get back into the second round this year and let's go get a receiver that way. But I am on board with Troy Fatano, to say the least. I would much rather Fatano at 10 than Bowers at 10. And honestly, even though I'm a Roma Dunze guy, if the Jets took Fatano over a Dunze, I couldn't criticize them for that. We killed Joe Douglas for the offensive line. You can't kill him if he invests a top 10 pick into a guy who could play every position on the line. And I think the point with Rodgers making your weapons better is true. I think you need to then add another veteran receiver. And you're going to have to hit on a guy on day two of the draft in that position. You have to. Best teams in the league do it besides the Jets. The Texans used a third-round pick on Tank Dell last year. I mean, go through the list of names that were day two receiver picks the last couple of years. It's only the Jets who draft Denzel Mims and Elijah Moore and can't get it right. For a while, the Jets couldn't get it right, though, in the second round. And then they took Brees Hall. And then they took Joe Tippman. Maybe this is the year they finally get it right with a day three or day two, more importantly, wide receiver. Today's Jake Asmund show is presented by our brand new sponsor. That's right. JetsXFactor.com, baby. We got Robbie Sabo, the co-founder of this great website, joining us tomorrow in his weekly spot. But we teamed up with JetsXFactor.com. They're one of, our, one of our big sponsors for the mega cast out in Vegas. You're going to have Robbie and plenty of JetX personalities on our show all three days. We got Fialco, of course, joining us. Andrew's going to be joining us this uh, Thursday this week. We'll do a film review on Brian Thomas Jr. So get ready for that. But JetsXFactor.com, folks, pause this YouTube video and go to JetsXFactor.com right now. And just check out the greatness that is JetsXFactor.com. They have something for everyone there. They have film analysis. They have breakdowns of everything going on with the Jets in article form. You could get bonus content that you will not find on like an ESPN.com. And also, download their mobile app, the JetX mobile app on the App Store and Android Google Play. Check it out there. It is a great app. Robbie continues to work on it. Make sure you subscribe to the Jets X Factor on YouTube for Joe Blewett's film breakdowns, the Cool Your Jets podcast with Michael Nadia, the Underdog Jets podcast with Jet legend Wayne Krebet. And speaking of Wayne Krebet, Jets X Factor wants me to tell you this. If you subscribe at Jet X using Wayne Krebet's discount code, which is code 80. Gee, I wonder why it's code 80. You will get a discount for their yearly membership. For more info about a subscription to JetX, which includes in-depth film breakdowns, audio versions of each article, an ad-free experience when you become a JetX member, go to jetsxfactor.com slash JetX membership. It's all linked in the description, but you guys have been watching the show a while. Robbie comes on with us all the time, so it only made sense to get JetX as our brand new sponsor here leading up to the draft. So JetsXFactor.com for the most in-depth Jets coverage. Shout out to Robbie and everyone over at Jets X Factor for being a part of our mega cast. All right, we got a lot of calls to get into. Comments, questions, super chats, we'll cut the line. I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about John Sterling here, though, for a little bit. So the Yankee legend announced, effective immediately, that he's going to be stepping down from the Yankee booth. He's going to be retiring. I got to meet John Sterling in 2019, and as a diehard Yankee fan, it was truly an honor. So sad seeing the news. I will say this. He's leaving on his own terms. He felt like health-wise, he couldn't get through the grind of a full season anymore. He, he wasn't loving going to the ballpark, and he just felt like it was time. So, you know, I know there's a lot of stuff about, you know, his health and all that. Uh, according to Michael K on the Michael K Show, John Healthwise is doing okay. He just felt like it was time. So, uh, obviously, a 35-year run that will never, ever be replicated in broadcasting. I, I mean, it's iconic what Sterling did and calling all those championships for the Yankees in the 90s. Just incredible. So, shout out to John Sterling. Very sad to see the news, but, I mean, you talk about a dream career. You get to leave your dream job at age 86. You've done something right. So, congrats to John Sterling. I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about that before we get to some calls comments, questions, the whole thing. All right. Now we got some housekeeping to catch up on because this guy is out of control. 
King and Dreams has just gifted 10 memberships. Holy hell. And here we go, people. Drew, Drew Balcom became a member. Jam became an Asmaniac. Chris Laz, Danny, 42nd EGO. CLS Smooth, Uniqued 2. Kevin Zickler, Jet Fan for Life, all courtesy of King and Dreams. But wait, folks, that's not all. We are not done here. We have more. Because King and Dreams said gifting a bazillion memberships in the morning show wasn't enough. How about I gift five more? No, 10 more. So 20 as maniac memberships in this show alone. King and dreams. You're too kind, my man. <laughs> Following people just received an as maniac membership. Jason C Donovan E addict, Julian Vasquez war dog 2.0. Congratulations. And of course, five more people received a membership as well. Christopher Tressler, SB24 Projects, Dean, David Geron, Derek Smallword. Congratulations on your Asmaniac membership. Shout out to King and Dreams. We got to get a King and Dreams emoji. That is definitely coming after his contributions to everyone on the channel. Tremendous. Absolutely tremendous. All right. A lot of people want in on the conversation. I'm going to start off with this guy, though, because he's probably the biggest Fatano fan out there. Big fella, your thoughts on Field Yates mocking your guy to the Jets at number 10? Well, I I can say the plan is coming together. I can feel it, Jake. I can feel it. First, uh, respect to John Sterling. Love listening to him. You know, I hope everything's okay with him. But, uh, Fatanu, baby. <laughs> I'm looking forward for look, looking forward to it. Um, I take him over Bowers. I take him over Fuaga, Latham. I take him over all those guys. We need the sixth man. I mean, just just look at what happened last year. It's the smart choice. Okay, we got to stop looking at shiny objects. We got to stop looking at like, uh, oh, the new car in the driveway. No. We need we need the guy who's going to back up the guys who are injury prone, and not only Aaron Rodgers. If Aaron Rodgers, God forbid, got hurt, we need somebody to protect Tyrod Taylor also. Okay, so so it makes perfect sense that we go after Fatanu. Now I see that like the Bills, the Patriots, the Dolphins, they can all go to hell. We are taking the division. Sick of it. Um, and let's go. You know, I mean, that's all I got to say. Hey, uh, you know what? I, that's all you need to say, big fella. That's all you need to say. You're a Fatano guy. That's understandable. King Lowski says, Hawk still without a membership. Hell yeah, man. We don't want him to become a member. Hawk, you better start gifting membership soon, though, man. Let me tell you, I've had multiple people reach out asking if they could submit the bounty on your head in payments. And I said, absolutely. As long as I get a thousand bucks, what do I care? Third man checks in with a super Bye. chat. Unis are awesome. My one thought is I wish they used the all white logo on the black helmet. The metallic green with the white outline looks wonky. I do think they're going to add a white helmet at some point for what it's worth. But that's a fair that's a fair criticism, but I think overall, if you're a Jet fan, you got to be very happy uh, with the the new uniform layout. You know, all, all things considered, to 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 think where the Jets were with the most recent jerseys to where they are now, I mean, it's as big of an upgrade as going from Zach Wilson to Aaron Rodgers. You know that that's the type of upgrade the Jets got. I mentioned what the field will look like earlier. Woody Johnson. He actually posted what the field will look like with the new logo on it in the end zone and, of course, at midfield. So this is from Woody's Twitter account. We'll go full screen here. This is what MetLife will look like, according to Woody, with the quote-unquote new logo, which is actually the old logo. But we get the point. Comments, questions, super chats will cut the line. I, I mean, it's just getting out of control, folks. King and Dreams is back. Another five 
That's right. Five memberships were just gifted, which means that's now 25 memberships in this show alone. And what do you get, like 50 in the other show? Oh, my God. Money, 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 money. Unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, Joel Mercado, Christopher Phillips, G. Sunkar, Azia Russell, and Mitak RX have all just became, become, became, I don't know, I can't speak, I'm so excited, as Maniac members. So congratulations once again, courtesy of King and Dream. Subscribe to his YouTube channel, man. He's got great content there as well. All right, it's time to go back to the calls here. And I've been waiting to hear from this guy because yesterday, you know, things got a little, uh, you know, things got a little contentious, I would say, on the show between myself and this caller. And, you know, just to kind of reset here and, and update everyone, because I know, you know, we, we put out a lot of content. Not everyone can watch every show. If you missed it yesterday, uh, there was a bit of a back and forth between Charles Gorman and Lane Kerner. So just to kind of recap everyone, you know, for everyone out there, Here's what happened yesterday as we try and progress the story forward now. I think in classic Charles Gorman fashion, I saw a comment from Charles that said, who is Knobel? As we played a full video explaining exactly who Knobel is. So, Charles, I go to you next. Do you still not know who Knobel is? I think Lane Train's an idiot. I don't think he knows what he's talking about. What do you mean he's an idiot? He's making stuff up. Who's Knobel? I looked him up on the internet and he's not there. He, he is. He went to college. Guys, stop it. Seriously, I know the bullshit coming out of your mouth. It's bullshit. Charles, I, I, I don't like your tone. Here, Charles. how do you smoke an oval? Charles, I don't need to dignify your nonsense. See you later. <clears throat> Get out of here. How do you spell Knobel? doesn't matter how to spell Knobel. All that matters is he's one of the great prospects we've ever seen. On the 2022 draft pick, <laughs> the pick goes to Knobel. Out of college. Yeah! More of your calls right now. Let's go to Jake Klein. What's up, Jake? Well, actually, first off, for one second, who's Knobel? No, he's a phenomenal prospect for the New York Jets. I tried Googling and it said, like, amusement park things. I was like, okay, I, I don't know. No, he, he, he played at college. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll Google it another time. But, um, See you later. Uh, Jake, thanks for the time. Charles writes in, enough with the chicken soup talk. I'm pissed because of the stupidity this show has succumbed to. Hello, Charles. Enough with the stupidity. I understand this Lane Train guy may be a nice guy, but does he even know what he's talking about? I've been looking this Kenobi guy nonstop. Here, I'll share you my screen with you. I know you're laughing, Jake. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm laughing. Kenobi. Type in Knoebel out of college. It comes right up. It's like the first search. Type it in. I am out of college. There's no such thing as him. You believe everything you see on the internet? You're telling me your Google is accurate right now? Yes, it is accurate. How is it possible, Charles, if Knoebel's not real, that Gator was able to put together an entire draft profile? Knoebel, FP football player from college. He is five in seven hundred nine eight LBS prospect grade zero point zero production score sixty nine and an athletic score of double oh seven. He's very good. Gets flag penalties, but he's very very good. And um, I'm very good at this taking football players. You're defending Lane Train. That's what you're doing. He played for the Rhinos. You just saw it. Jake, I, if you want to lose a subscriber, stop right now. Charles, I will take Lane Train over anybody. So if you're going to unsubscribe to my channel over Lane Train, then you know what? You got to do what you got to do. Stop defending Lane Train. Charles. The guy doesn't know what he's talking about, Jake. How about stop lying to yourself, stop lying to these people, and actually say the truth? I'm on your Discord, and one guy called Frankie Castle agrees with me. Charles, I'll just keep playing Lane Train Sounders if you keep slandering the man. I'm not slandering the man. I'm telling him. But you know what? I'm not in the mood right now. Goodbye. Charles, thank you for the time. Well, people, are you Team Lane or Team Charles? I'm glad this guy called in because he was slandered earlier, and I will not stand for this. Hi. How are you? Bruce Paul. That's good. 
the Lane Train. What's up, Lane Kerner? How are you? Great. On the two for this draft coming up, who do you take going into the 10th round for the draft? Do you take um, Brian or do you want to take um, – there's a lot of different players. Who do you think? Who's Brian? Yeah, the guy that they uh, – he drafted. Brian uh, – what's his last name? Brian – you know what? What's Brian's last name? Do you know? Um, I forgot. There's a lot of uh, other ideas. So, who do you see going to the Jets in the tenth round? In the first round, I really want them to take Knobel, and you brought him up a couple times. Yeah, I know. But what happens if they don't get him? Then what do you do? Do you go? Do you maybe go after somebody else? I don't think we need anybody else. I mean, I think that, you know, you're going to work around the whole team going into next year. Great point. Lane, thank you for the call. I, ho- I hope you had a good Sunday. You too. Hi. Sorry, everybody. See you next call when we talk about sports again. Charles' head is spinning after that call. Chugga, 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 choo, choo. Folks, Charles has called in. Charles Gorman is up next. Hello, Charles. Hello, Jake. How are you? Charles, I'm good. Have you uh, calmed down a little bit after yesterday's outburst? I was on the the, the, the night show with um with uh, Nick, proud New York Jets fan. Okay. Mike D's not just calling me a hater, whatever. Charles, are you, are you going to respond or are you, you just going to read the chat? Look, um... Would you like to apologize to Lane? Sure. Why don't you bring him on? Why don't you? He's not on hold. But if he was on hold, I'd bring him on. Look, um, speaking of John Sterling, I did a video about him earlier. Wait a today. second. Wait a second. You, know, you don't get to plug your channel here. Apologize to Lane, and then we'll get you John Sterling point. I'm sorry, Lane. I think you're a very special person, but um, I'm um, – You're what? I'll just stop right there. How about this, Charles? Give us give us your best train sound effect. Give us a choo-choo. Woo, woo. Chicka, 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 chicka. Yeah. Anyway, oh yeah, Charles. Um, All right, go ahead, make your point. I did a John Stunning video today. I was gonna start my uh, Superman marathon this week, uh, today actually, uh, but I decided to, you know, I just um, I was with my dad at Costco today. And we and he pulled out his phone, and here comes a an article from the New York Post that John Stunning is retiring today, and I'm like, oh shit, here we go. And I know it was for health reasons, so if you want to check out my video about John Sterling, I pretty much said, you know, thank you very much. You were a huge reason why I've been a fan of the Yankees for so many years. Um, I I always liked his voice. I always loved his home run calls. I always loved his voice, his enthusiasm, his optimism, his charisma, everything. But anyway, as for the uh, Jets taking Fotano at number 10, that's a great pick to me. We need offensive linemen. Look, I know there are so many Jet fans want Brock Bowers, but the thing is, Brock Bowers, I've always felt, is a want, not a need. You know, like, I want this guy, I want that guy, but what do you need? You want a hot car, or do you need water? Or do you, or what's, the want is like a hot, a, a nice car, <laughs> but a need is like water and food. Okay, that's it. T- it took us a little bit to get to that in that analogy, but I see I see your point. Fatanu is what we need. Brock Bowers, you know, this 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 once in a generation tight end from Georgia is a once in a generation talent, but he's a want. Now, I understand, you know, New York Jet Dan from Jet Turbulence Podcast. You shout out to him, wants that guy. I know so many people want him. But Charles, yes. Can I tell you what I what I want, and, and also kind of what the chicken I chicken soup recipe? I need some of your mama's chicken soup. 
Okay, here, I'll, t- I'll finally tell you the secret ingredient. You ready? I'm ready. You take a chicken, you decapitate in front of a live audience. Then you pour some motor oil on it. Then you light it up. You burn it. And then you put it in a pot. You put your potatoes, your corn. I'm sorry, not your corn, your carrots, your celery. And then you make your broth. And then you chop up the chicken in little pieces. Are you writing this down, Jake? I, I'm, I'm allowing you to, to share the recipe, Charles. I'll go back and watch. Okay, we're having a little rant about Bowers and freaking Jalen Brunson. Knock it off, you two. Charles, thank you. I don't know where this call was headed. But I'm glad I'm glad you made it. All right, I'm glad you apologized to Lane. The nerve of you. But I appreciate it, Charles. I don't believe that was the recipe, folks. For what it's worth. <laughs> uh, King of Dreams says, where's the Henny emoji? King of Dreams, if that's what you want as the emoji, you will get a Henny emoji. I will work on that by the end of the end of today. King of Dreams says, it's not letting me gift any more memberships. Have you maxed out on memberships? Unbelievable. Mike D's Nuts writes in. What a name, Mike. Hey! What a weirdo Charles is. What a beta male hater. Have some fun, buddy. Knoble is goaded. Yeah, look, Charles did apologize, though. So we love Charles. He's a longtime listener. I support I support all our great listeners, and that includes Charles. Arizona Jet writes in. He played for the Rhinos, 10th round pick. Lane Kerner's one of one, folks. <laughs> one of one. John writes in, Charles, I don't like your tone. Fair. Ladies and gentlemen, more of your calls right now. Let's go to Altoona Sandwich. Hello, Altoona. Hey, Jake. How's it going? Uh Uh-oh, are you a Bauer boy? (laughs) Well, to be honest, I thought I was a Bauer boy. But after listening to the Lane Train and Charles and his chicken soup go back and forth, for, forget Bowers. I am 100% a Knoebel boy. Me and, too. And, and, and there's two reasons. There's two main reasons why. One, he went to college. Yep. And more importantly, two, he's from the 2022 draft, which means he's much more mature than all the other players coming from the 2024 draft. It's a good point. You got to take that in, into consideration. Yes. So... So um, I am 100% uh, a Canova boy, and thank God I was on your stream today because after a long last, I finally have Charles Gorman's mama's chicken soup recipe. I wrote it down, and I'm going to decapitate that chicken and make it tonight. I'll tell you a tremendous call. Something tells me that wasn't the uh, recipe, though. Great call. Now, if we're gonna, we ha- I, I'm the one who came up with the term Bauer Boys. So, what do we call Knoebel fans? Are you in the Knoebel clan? We do a little KK, or is that racist because it's too close to KKK? I don't know how that works. Do you do clan with a K? Let's let's ask the audience. If you're pro the Jets drafting Knoebel, what's the nickname? Probably don't want to do clan. That's probably not smart. We're not going to do that. Rat Diddy says Knobel kid. All right. Are you a Knobel kid? Does that work? We're, we're, we're workshopping this out loud right now. Mike D's Nuts checks in. Ordered my Green Rogers jersey today. Boom. Use my Fanatics links down below, Jeff fans. Get your gear. Get your gear. Wrong verb says Knablers. That's kind of funny. Are you a Knobelman? Hawk, actually, not a bad suggestion there. Knobelman. I don't hate these. Some of these, we're, we're workshopping here, people. This is what we do. 
Mike says the Obi-Wan Kenobles. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Folks, before we get back to our calls, I want to give some love to one of our most iconic listeners in the history of the show. Earlier today, I was in the neighborhood of our favorite shoe salesman. He was hard at work, and I paid a visit to the great Mr. Bonesy, and I got the full-on tour of Alden's on Madison Ave, which is the name of the shoe store. If you ever show up at Alden's and you tell the people there that you're a listener of the show, we're going to hook you up, all right? Mr. Bonesy took good care of me today. In fact, I leave Alden's today with a new pair of beautiful designer Alden shoes, which I will showcase on the air right now. All thanks to our pal, Mr. Bonesy. And if you're a Patreon member or you're an Asmaniac, guess what? I filmed an entire behind-the-scenes tour of the Mr. Bonesy shoe store Alden's located on Madison Ave earlier today. And that video is in the hands of Gator McCluskey, who is editing it all together. And it will be released exclusively for Patreon members and as maniacs when we're ready to go live with it. So for the first time in my life, I visited Mr. Bonesy and he hooked me up with some of the nicest shoes that I've now could say I proudly own. I mean, they're comfortable. They're just gorgeous. And the, the options there were amazing. And Bonesy's like, pick whatever you want. I couldn't believe it. So I love you, Mr. Bonesy. You're the man. I walked in. His brother recognized me right away. Bonesy was in the back. I got to see where he calls the show from. So, folks, you're in for quite the behind-the-scenes treat when we release that video of Mr. Bonesy fitting my feet, putting on the shoes, and giving us the tour of Alden's, where it all happens. A bunch of you have asked for the address, so I'm going to make sure that I give that out right now. For those who are in the New York area and want to pay the Bones man a visit, the address for Alden's is the following, 340. Madison Ave. It's like right by 42nd, 43rd Street, not too far from Grand Central, located right next to a Chipotle. So, you know, I was happy. Shout out to Mr. Bonesy, a true legend, one of the greats. All right. Wait till you guys see the behind the scenes video. You're going to laugh your ass off. I, I'll tease a little bit right now. I asked Mr. Bonesy's brother, I'm like, give me a Bonesy story. Give me something. And his brother's trying to come up with something for what the story would be. And you know what the story was? He goes, when he called me after the Jets traded for Aaron Rodgers and he was hysterically crying on the phone. <laughs> I'm like, yes, that's Mr. Bonesy right there. One of the all-time greats. All right. Now, without further ado, let's get back into your comments, your questions, and your phone calls. Joining us right now is a man who really needs no introduction because he has made his mark today, the likes of which we have never seen before. King and Dreams has called back a man who has gifted. I mean, how many memberships, King and Dreams, have you gifted? 25 during this show. And what? It was 50 during the other show? I mean, you're insane, man. Unmute your mic first so we can hear you. Oh, what's going on? What's going on, man? What's the word, my guy? Yo, listen. You tell me. Uh, you, you also, <laughs> I saw your super chat. I haven't checked my Instagram messages all day because I've been running around like crazy. Nah, I, yeah, not, nah, yeah, not. Nah. Yeah, not nah, not nah, nah. I figured as much. Um, you know, we'll, we'll we'll talk more on the back end. But um, yeah, man. So so for people who um who wanted a membership, um, uh, I apologize, guys. But yeah, man, like they 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 gave me an error message and said your boy is maxed out for the day. So I'm gonna have to do this like tomorrow, <laughs> Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, man. You know. Um, but 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 you know the, the the thing is, man. Like the reason why I give out the membership is, like I said earlier, man. Like I believe in your content. I believe in you. And then also, man, I believe in the people, man. Like you know, let's turn that whole chat green, bro. You know, because honestly, um, and I didn't say this earlier. Like I wanted to actually get my channel membership after Aaron Rodgers threw his first touchdown, but I said, yo, you know what, man? Like yo, like the way that you just keep your foot on people next, man. Like, you know, proverbially, right. You know, um, I said, you know what, let me join today, man. Let me just join today. I love you know? It. Yeah, man. The work that you put in, man, you know, it's, um, 
it's bar none, man. And it, and it makes me as a YouTuber want to step up my game, man. So, you know, um, there's some people who subscribe to my channel and I appreciate that. Guys, please continue to subscribe to my channel, man. You know, it's not sports talk. <laughs> What's the you know, channel? It, Put it out there again, King and Dreams. Make sure people know. Yeah, man. Um, you know, it's uh, Kings and Dreams on all platforms. Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Facebook. You know, and again, I'm talking about travel, inter interrelationship dynamics. You know what I mean? So, you know, a man and woman, you know what I mean? So, you know, um, in today's society, uh, I, I don't want to get you canceled, Jake, but you know what I mean? Um, you know, like uh, masculine men are frowned upon. Nah, man. Fuck the bullshit. Pardon my language, man. But yo, <laughs> nah, man. You know. Um, but let's get back into sports, man. I, I'm 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 excited to see. I'm excited to see. You know what the Jets do, man, for the draft, man. I, and I can't wait, man. Let's get this work. Let's go for Marvin Harrison Jr. As I mentioned earlier, let's do that, man. Now, again, I don't want to give up a sec. Uh, a first this year's first and then next year's first. No, if we give up this year's first and next year's fourth or third, I'm okay with that. Look, so you're saying next year's first and this year's third to go get Marvin, you're cool with it. No, I no, I said it the opposite way. This you year's said, first, next year's third. Well, you're gonna have to give up this year's first. Like you're not yes, gonna be able yeah, to yeah, get yeah, Marvin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that goes without saying. So I'm saying this year's first, Correct. next year's third, but we can't give up two first rounds. That's what I'm trying to say. Well, but you're gonna have to give up more than that, though. Is what I'm saying to you. Like this year's ah, uh, okay, okay, like, I got you. It's not enough to move up five spots to get him. You know what I mean? Like you're gonna have if you want Marvin Harrison Jr., you have to obviously swap pick ten with pick five. Mm. And I believe you're gonna have to trade at least next year's second, and I think it's gonna be more than that, King and Dreams. I think it's gonna be next year's first year. Originally, Daniel Jeremiah only had it as next year's second. I'm thinking to myself, if that's all I got to give up to get the best player in the draft, arguably, yeah, I'll do that. When you start talking about next year's first, then it's like, how all in do you want to be? Ideally, that picks 32 next year. Nobody cares, but all of a sudden, right, exactly. what if this yeah. year doesn't go yeah. right and you you need that first round pick and you know, you're know you're, you're dreading the outcome of it. So I, I don't know if they'll trade that much. That's why I think trading the eight and getting Roma Dunze, if you only have to trade a fourth and a pick next year, that maybe is more realistic if you want a weapon. Yeah, I'm 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 high on him too. So, you know, like like I don't want I don't want people to think like I'm not high on him. Oh, by the way, like um, you know, since we boys, you know, saying kings and dreams, you know, like all the time, like that's 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 kind of a tongue twister. You could just call me K and D. That's what people call me. Just K say K and D, you know what I mean? Yeah, K and D, you know what I mean? Where's the you nickname make come from? What's the backstory? Uh so um so 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 my real name, so my real name is James, and um so uh my mother um would call me you know king james the bible version you know and then um and so dreams is is that um like what i talk about on my channel is um you know men and women can experience their dreams of you know whether they live stateside abroad you know and experience the dreams of your life man you know so like there's almost 200 countries in this world and and why be subjected to one not saying that america isn't great what i am saying is that like you know like if you could live anywhere in the world do that experience your dreams so there you go kings and dreams hey do me a favor kings and dreams all right knd i, I, I you're gonna message me off there i'm gonna respond to your dm i'm, yeah, buying, yeah. A, I'm buying a patreon subscription for the year for you as a thank oh, you. Oh, yo, everything. respect We my need dude. you. We need you in the Discord. You're getting a full Patreon membership on me for the entire year. How's that? Yo, sound? my G, respect, bro. Respect. Respect. All right. I'll get in touch That's with you up, man. and we'll, we'll make that happen. We need you in our Discord, man. We, we need your yeah. positive energy. Yeah, man. Thank you, man. Man, I appreciate it, man. You know, and, and um, you know, like I, like I said earlier, man, and I'm going to say it again, man. Like, Jets, it's, it's our time, man. Jet fans, it is our time. Let's go. And if we don't get, you know, Marvin Harrison Jr., let's get a doomsday. But, man, like, I, I, I hear people talk about Brock Bowers. Nah, man. Nah. Let that li – leave that BS alone, man. You know, and not saying that he's not good, but let's get a wide receiver. Let's get a wide receiver. Let's play, man. Garrett Wilson has – worked his behind off and he deserves to have someone play with him and mike williams we don't know what's gonna happen man we don't know if he's gonna be ready week one but we need to be ready now we need to be ready now 
I gotta help this guy. Let's go. Yeah, Let's get that number there. five. Hey, Let's yo, go, baby. Yeah, 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 man. I, I, I'm about to buy that jersey, bro. I'm about to buy that jersey, bro. Like, I don't care if I gotta pay two fifty for it. Yo, that jersey look cold, man. I know. It, it really does look incredible. Yeah, yeah. Wait, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what Carly was talking about earlier. She said it was ugly. I'm like, listen, you, you cute and all, but nah, that jersey fire, man. Uh, what, can can <laughs> I read the super chat that just came in here? This is yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Mike D's nuts goes respect to Kings. Love this Jets community. At the end of the day, I'm all in to go. Oh, game for MHJ sub to the channel Kings. I two. Hundred dollar super chat. We're just gonna play this. I'm a match you. I'm 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 a match you, Mike. I'm a match you, Mike. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> yo 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 yo. Shout out to yo. Shout out to Mike D's. He was giving me love in the chat, man. Hey 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 hey, Mike. Once I get off here, I'm a match you. I'm a match you on that two hundred, bro. Are you kidding me? Stop it. Nah no. nah man nah nah no cap, bro. Yo, you deserve you it, bro. You win the you lottery it, recently, like King of Dreams. I mean, how how are you pulling this off, KND? Where, 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 where's this money coming from? You win the Mega Millions. <laughs> I have a career, man. I have a career. I have a career in, um, you know, and also like so. Uh, so for my YouTube channel, what I do is I do uh, travel consultations for people who want to purchase property abroad, you know, uh, whether they want to get married, whether they, you know, single guys want to have fun, whatever. But I direct them, you know, like properly. You know what I mean? So, you know, um, my YouTube, you know, my YouTube is lucrative, bro. And, and, and my career is lucrative. And then also I invest in stocks and things like that. You know what I mean? So, I, you know, awesome. I, uh, I, I, I do well for myself. So I'm going to pass the plate around, bro. I love it. Well, you know, I, I know your cell phone looks like this, right? You got the money phone at all times. Going. <laughs> <laughs> nah, B. Nah, man. See, I don't carry cash, man. I, you know, only cards, man. Don't don't tell anyone, but this is actually fake money. <laughs> I don't believe that. No, I swear it's actually not real. I I, oh, I bought a bunch. What? I bought, oh, I, I, oh. I bought some. I bought some props here just for just for you, man. Oh. You <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But don't. Hey, listen. Hey, listen, man. Jake make bank though. Jake make bank. But you know, I I I know how it is, <laughs> man. And I, man, listen. I know how it is because listen. You know, you 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 will get like a thousand dollars, and you know you'll spend like ten of it. You know what I mean? Ten dollars of it, and, and that's smart. And that's smart. And that's typically what I teach guys, you know, and and women, you know, what to do, man. You know, we're 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 we're, we're, we're yeah, you know, just capitalists. watching this channel grow, man. It's been it's been an amazing ride. People like you, yeah, man. Work, man, getting a chance to connect with all the different fans all over the world. I mean, you were just in Colombia, absolutely, right? man. Absolutely, man. Yeah, man. Shout out to Dre. I wanted to talk to him earlier. Um, you know, uh, shout out to Snowball, Mr. Bonesy. Um, yeah, man. I want to get a chance to connect with these guys. And um, and uh, what, what's my man name? Uh, from Australia, Craig, right? Craig. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got a link. Yeah, I got a link with him, man. You know what I mean? So you know, they are you know. all in the Discord. So you message you. I know you messaged me. I'll get back to you after the show. We'll get you in our uh, pay, on our Patreon, and then we'll yes, get you in the Discord. That'll be awesome. Yes, sir, man. Yes, sir, man. All right, man. Last thing before I drop off, because I know you guys are the callers. Um, like I said, Mike, I'm gonna match you once I'm done. But guys, oh, make man. sure make sure that you guys do your very best. Share this channel. Get Jake to 40k, man. Jake to 40. Jake to 40. Type that in the chat. Share that in the chat. Also, subscribe to your boy Kings and Dreams on all platform, man. You know, subscribe to your boy, man. You know what I mean? So let's get it, man. Guys, get your passports. Travel. Live your life but before i leave j-e-t-s jets the mother up <laughs> you know what it is man we lit hey. out here all right let's go king and dreams my man. man wait you're the best king and dreams thank you so much dude take a shot of henny man oh right yeah, yeah, we 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 gonna need that man. Word. There we go. Hey, I'm gonna upload that heady emoji later. That is that is that your per personal preference of the next emoji? You call Hell yeah! Yourself? Hell yeah, bro. Cheers. Word. Cheers to the Henny Fund, man. Yo, like I said, man. Yo, when I see you in Vegas, man. I, yo, when I see you in Vegas, man. Yo, if we lit, man. Yo, bottles on me, bro. Whoa, goddamn, boy. <laughs> ah. Oh, I, I needed that. Hey, 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 respect, man. Hey, respect, man. You you had a stressful move, and I'm sure you had a long day. You needed that one. No, you're, you're, <laughs> you, you ain't wrong about the move part. My God. That's pretty good. It's like 75 degrees in New York right now. I, I, yeah, I no, no, it's, no, it's Liddy out here. It's Liddy out here, man. You know what I mean? I'm out here in the shades, you know what I mean? So, you know, it's comfortable, you know? Oh, man. We're Brooklyn in the building, man. 718. You know what it is. All right, man. Yo, it, salute, man. bro.
Peace. Right. Shout out to KND. I mean, just an unbelievable human being, man. If you caught the first show, he probably gifted 50 memberships. He's gifted 25 more. He inspired Mike D's Nuts. That's right. I'll say your name as many times forever now, Mike D's Nuts, if you're kind enough to gift a $200 super chat. Unreal, man. Best audience. Oh, it all to the Jet fans, man. We put we put all this revenue back into the show. It's how we're able to do cool partnerships like have ESPN New York sponsor our draft show and give away a signed Garrett Wilson photo to use. So cool things are coming, man. Get ready. Get ready. And by the way, if you won our March Madness contest, I'm pretty sure all the winners who are owed a Jets legacy jersey reached out. But reach out, and we'll get you set up with a legacy jersey now that they're officially out. We were waiting for that to be able to send the winners their prizes. The big fella chimes in with a super chat. With our shit-ass field, it only makes sense to draft a guy who could back up every position on the line. Fatano's the best choice. Side note, let's get some Knoebel signs at the draft. I'll tell you what, if any Jet fan goes to the draft and has a sign that says Knoebel on it, pick a legacy jersey, it's on me. I, I mean, pick a legacy jersey, it's on me. Enough said. Unbelievable. You know what's unbelievable? I cannot believe this. King and Dreams said he was going to match the Super Chat from Mike's D's Nuts. Yes, and he did. He did match it. Unreal, folks. Sound the alarms. $400 in two Super Chats, folks. Unreal. I love this audience. It is the best fans, man. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I think the coolest feature is that we just have had so many people that want to pay it forward and give it back. But these super chats are just incredibly kind, man. Unreal. King King and Dreams, you're the man. I put the link to his YouTube channel in uh, earlier. I'm going to post it again so people could see it here. So if you're not watching live right now, make sure you check the live comments so you can see it. Show some love to King and Dreams, man. He probably gifted you a membership if you're watching right now. Unreal. Unbelievable. Lenny says, Knoebel crew. Lenny's one of the people who won a legacy jersey. Lenny, I know I got your message. We're going to connect. Unbelievable. Knoebel crew. Dark Knight Steve says, tonight we eat steak. Yeah, where, where, where am I going tonight? <laughs> Unbelievable, man. I feel like I got to treat myself to something a little nicer than Chipotle, huh? Unbelievable. Ohio Jet chimes in. I just got a puppy. I tried the name of Knobel, but my girlfriend was like, WTF, no. Oh, uh, it's too funny. Freddie McKnight writes in, I just subscribed to King and Dreams. Love that. All right, so for the name for Knobel, are you, are you in the Knobel crew? Are you a Knobel kid? We got to decide on a name here, people. We're workshopping it. Andrew writes in, with without liquid IV, Jake's liver would be like Mr. Burns. You're not kidding, man. Seriously. And shout out to everyone who's purchased liquid IV so far. New sponsor on the show. If you want to stay hydrated, one stick is the equivalent of three glasses of water. One stick in your water. I'm a lemon lime guy and a strawberry guy. But I'm telling you, every time you see me with one of these cups, I got liquid IV in my drink. I also, for the first time, I'm actually using my Yankee like beer mug thing here. So here we go. There's liquid IV in this. Unreal. Liquid IV, promo code Jake Asman. Get yourself a 20% discount. Uh, if you drink, I recommend liquid IV. What I do, I've been doing this since I first moved to Houston. I started using liquid IV. Before you leave for a night out, Put yourself, get yourself a glass of water, put liquid IV in it, put it in the freezer. Or the, not the freezer, dumbass. The refrigerator. All right. That way, when you come back for your night out, you take your three Advil and you pound your uh, your cup of water with the liquid IV in it. You will not wake up as hungover. I'm not going to guarantee you won't be hungover because I'm old now and I do get hungover. I used to be hung, you know, hangover proof, but that's one way to combat it. Brandon says, there'll be a lot of Knobel fans there. I just want to see the announcers are like, who? Who the F is this Knobel guy? Checking their notes over and over again. Look, if any Jake Asman listener is in Detroit for the draft and you show up with a Knobel sign, 
pick pick a Jet Legacy jersey. It's on me. And if the announcers don't know who he is, maybe they should pay attention to his draft pro- profile a little more, huh? The noble FP football player from college. He is five in seven hundred nine eight LBS cross Breck grade zero point zero production score sixty nine and an athletic score of double oh seven. He's very good. Gets flag penalties, but he's very very good. And um, I'm very good at this taking football players. I mean, that, that's what it comes down to. All right, folks, more calls right now. Ladies and gentlemen, Doug on the couch. Hello, Douglas. If this was a year ago, I would have done the Knoebel sign. I was living in like a 45 minutes from Detroit. If this was a year ago, I would have done it. Yeah. So. Uh, I mean, a year ago, I was at the draft in Kansas City. I would have done it, you know, yeah. <laughs> but I, I, I'm not going to be at the draft so, this year. I'll be in Vegas. Um, I missed the first stream because I was at work today. So I missed the first stream, but love the new jerseys. They're amazing. They're great. Can't wait for them. They're awesome. Um, I saw the ESPN mock draft. You're talking about the alternating one that Field Yates and um, Mel Kuyper did? Kuyper did. Yeah, about. and Yates had the yeah, jet I, pick, and he, and he went with Fatano. I liked it. I liked it. I like Fatano. It's a safe pick. I've been team trade up. Still, I am still team trade up. Um, I think that's the best – excuse me, sorry. Uh, that's the best move going forward. Also, love the liquid IV sponsorship. Those things are a godsend. Dude, I, I have spent so much money. Like, I'm not even, like, just t- hyping them up because they're a sponsor. I've spent so much money on liquid IV, so the fact that I don't have to anymore and I can now actually talk about how much I genuinely love they're, the product are, is awesome. Also, when are we getting the couch emoji? Doug, the couch emoji is interesting because I need someone to design that because I, I, I can't just look up, like, dog on a couch and it comes up Hennessy emoji I could upload myself you know like that's a cop if someone wants to design a dog on the couch emoji I'd be happy to upload it because we need it I think so I feel, I feel like it'd become a, a good a good staple of this show I I mean look you 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 you've made your mark felt Doug I would agree I would agree. Jake have a great rest of your day also retired shout out to John Sterling Sexist, Amen. but like it was time unfortunately Amen. Look, uh, not many people get to retire from their dream job at age 86. So, love John Sterling. And by the way, I'm friends with Justin Shackle and Emmanuel Bavari, who I assume will probably be the two Sterling replacements with Susan Waldman. Probably Shackle and then Bavari will do some games. Yankee fans are in good hands with both those guys. They're excellent. Both are excellent. More calls right now. Let's go to Dirty in the truck. Dirty! Yo! So, uh... Yeah, I had, I had, I agree with uh, King of Dreams, man. Your, <clears throat> I don't know, just your show and the amount of information that you bring on and the material and everything is just top notch. There's no reason why you shouldn't be getting four hundred dollar, you know, quick chats and you know what I mean. Like it's it's. You put up great material, dude. Like, yeah, I don't think you understand or give yourself enough credit. You really do have an amazing show. Um, ah, well, thank you, Dirty. But uh, so much, so much of the show is, you know, not me. It's the callers. It's the fans who come, who make it what it is. You know, like anyone can give Jets opinions and analysis. Our show is a show. You know, that's what makes it special. Yeah. The um the other thing is, uh, I actually have a couple more um scouting reports to to throw in before the draft, Ooh. and uh, Noble is um one that I have to hand in soon. And yeah, it's actually, it's, it's quite amazing to see the things that he can do. Um, it's unexpected, really. It's almost like he's like under the radar, you know, but yet still becomes like this guy that comes out of nowhere and, you know, flashes, you know, he's like a flash in a pan, I guess sometimes. But um, if you look at his stats, they're like none other. So, you know, <laughs> I will have, I'll send you the scattering report when I'm done. And that way, you know, everybody can have an idea of, you know, better of where he's supposed to go in the draft. And, you know, that way everybody can be at ease. Yeah. Realistically though, I think it's a waste of time to debate where he's supposed to go. I mean, he's, he's supposed to be the first pick in the 2022 NFL draft. I mean, I get it. I, you know, I got to do my job as a scout though. You know what I mean? I have to to put in my, you know, it's just as it is, but to settle everybody down, I'll make sure you get a copy of it and you can, you know, send it to whomever you have to send it to just so everybody can 
you know, chillax. You know what I mean? R E L A X. Relax. My man, ladies and gentlemen, the great dirty in the truck. I mean, what a legend. Did someone say relax? R E L A X. Relax. Hell yeah. All right, folks. What I'm about to do right now is upload an emoji that has been requested. And it's only possible, or I should say, it's anything possible because of one man who made it happen. And that is the great Sham, who is the architect behind our Discord chat. He has emailed me the Henny emoji, which is about to be live. Henny, I'm going to name it. Let's see. Anything possible. Uh, too many characters. All right, it's in. Henny Asman is officially an emoji. Shout out to King and Dreams, K and D, for making it happen. If you're an Asmaniac, you now have access to that emoji. King and Dreams says salute. Sham came through. Everyone, give some love to Sham in the chat because it's live. I just uploaded it right now. I was I was wondering if it was going to let me be able to do it during an actual show, but it did. It has went through. Ladies and gentlemen, in honor of what King and Dreams has done today on both shows, gifting 75 memberships, I think is the total. We're live. The next emoji, according to YouTube, there are 85 more members and we get another emoji. But the Henny Asmin emoji is now live because that's what King and Dreams wanted and that is the least we could do. Unreal. It's live. I see people using it in the chat. That's tremendous. Outstanding emoji by Sham. More calls right now. Let's go to Bill, who's up next. What's up, Bill? I have no idea how I can top all these other calls you've had, uh, especially King King and Dream. <laughs> that is crazy. I was wondering if you could use uh, those um, that four hundred bucks that you received towards uh, banning a certain troll that you've been wanting to get rid of. There's your bounty. <laughs> you know. Okay. I, I, I won't lie to you, Bill. I've thought about it, but I have I have rules when it comes to bounties. It, it has to be a Venmo because I don't okay. want you, I don't All want right. you getting a cut of the blood money on the bounty. Sounds good. Sounds <laughs> good. Uh, by the way, earlier today, uh, Keith, you had spoken to Keith, and I just want to wish him a very uh, speedy recovery from uh, his cancer. I lost my wife years ago to uh, breast cancer, so I wish him all the best. Uh, definitely, I wouldn't even wish that on, on my enemies, let alone my friends. I can only hope, too, that I can visit Bonesy on the day that he's actually working there at his store because I'm on the Upper West Side and he's on the Mid East Side. So hopefully I can go visit him. You got to pop uh, in, Bill. He'd love it, man. We're, we're going to turn Bonesy well, into You wouldn't even star. know who the hell I am unless I mentioned it, right? <laughs> no, he'd, he'd recognize you. Bonesy's watching right now. He knows. <laughs> there goes <go>, Bonesy. <laughs> Let me tell you, it, it's a great store. I mean, the selections right. of the different shoes that Alden has is, is yeah. awesome. So, I, you know, if you're, if you're in New York or uh, anyone's coming to New York, stop by and say hello to Mr. Bonesy. Yeah. Uh, going back to the draft, uh, one of the things that we – no, in the back of our minds, but we haven't talked about is the fact that depending on what uh, Joe Douglas does with respect to other free agents and any other trades that we haven't even thought of, that's going to impact who is actually going to be picked in the draft and whether he's going to trade up or down. Uh, you have several teams, including the Bills, for example, who are having cap issues, and I'm sure that there will be some players – that are cap that will be cap casualties that just maybe fall within the Jets budget and uh hopefully is the type of quality players that will round out the uh, uh you know our uh roster uh, so uh there's plenty to be done there uh definitely I if we if we just simply take the picks as is no trade downs or trade ups and obviously it should be a tackle uh uh, pick 10, then uh, pick 72 wide receiver, pick 111 another offensive lineman, and the 134 wide receiver, and then after that, maybe defensive tackle, center, running back, etc. 
Yeah. I, I mean, you hit the needs there. It, to me, it's just a matter of how the first – I won't even say first nine picks because I think they could trade up. How the first five or six picks go could impact what the Jets' philosophy is in regards to it. Yeah. Uh, next time next time I see you drink, I'll bring a shot glass because I can't drink straight from the bottle. That doesn't look good for me. <laughs> Bill, we'll take shots next time, man. Great call. You said, how am I going to top the calls? You always bring it, Bill. Just be yourself. That's what we want everyone to do on this show. Shout out to Darth Crypto. He has gifted a channel membership. I didn't see who got it. So let me try and scroll up here and shout out who got a membership courtesy of Darth Crypto. Very nice of you, Darth. Uh, Jason Schneider, congratulations. Darth Crypto is the man behind your Asmaniac membership. So make sure you say thank you to Darth for gifting you that membership. Bang! Uh, JYB writes in. What's the Fanatics code to support you, Jake? Got a cart full of stuff. So as long as my understanding is as long as you, because I'm, I'm in Fanatics, like affiliate program down below. As long as you enter the Fanatics website through the linked stuff I put down below, it should be good to roll, JYB. So I don't want to like have you redo your cart, but if you click the stuff down below just to get to the Fanatics website and then go from there, I think I get commission on it. I think that's how it works. It's brand new, so I'm still kind of working it through with Fanatics. They just joined yesterday in honor of the jersey release. Three Siblings writes in with a super chat for us. Man, the show's amazing. I work all the time. Your content gets me through the day. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Let's go get Marvin Harrison Jr. I can't sit here and say I wouldn't be excited if they did that, you know? Like, I'd be lying to you if I said, oh, I don't want that. I appreciate the kind words. King of Dreams, he's back. Of course he is. He's pounding the henny emoji. I love it. So we that, that's just a straight whiskey emoji. We have a custom henny emoji now, too, which I love. Thank you, King of Dreams. You're the man. You made it happen, man. You donated the, the, the membership, so we hit the threshold. More calls right now. Let's go to Jets Johnny. What's up, Johnny? Jake, my brother, what's going on, man? How you doing today? Yo, yo, what's up, Johnny? Hey, good, good, man. Yes, sir. I just want I wanted to call in and uh get your thoughts on the new jerseys, man, because I know we were all expecting them, you know, like it's nothing like out of this world, but I just wanted to know how you feel about them because I think the greens are awesome. Obviously, the whites are dope. I don't like the black ones at all, man. Like, I think they're a total miss. Really? I yeah, I think they're super fucking lazy. Sorry. I think they're really lazy. You know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like they could have done something unique. You know what I mean? A, a, a little bit different. Um, you know what I mean? And then the fact that we can have a third helmet this year, you know, and then we're just using the matte black. I don't know. I, I feel like they're, they're just a little lazy. They're kind of a miss for me. But I really... Like, I'm so happy we're done with those Gase era uniforms, man. Like, that stench is off of us. Rodgers is going to look fucking great. Uh, Garrett Wilson in the five. Like, I can't wait to get that jersey, too. So, but I, I don't know, man. I just feel like the blacks are so, like, they're overplayed. Like, everybody does them. You know what I mean? And then, like, I don't know. They just feel kind of bland to me. So, I, I'm not a big That's fan. That's fair. You know, but, well, um, uh-huh. I, no, I was just going to say, I, I think they're going to, they're, they're trying to play Black Friday every year. So I think for like a jet perspective, it was important for them uh, to basically, you know, have that kind of black jersey to complement that if they do end up playing Black Friday every year. And I also, I'm with you. It's, it's definitely my like least favorite of the three, but I think their big thing was to basically match the style of the first two and not try and do something that's like out of character for the first two because they got killed for like, the most recent ones because they were different. Like people were like, oh, they look like an XFL team. So I think they just wanted to like have a clean old school, new school look and not mess with it. And I think we're eventually going to get a white helmet. I think that will be introduced next year. So they kind of have something new the next couple of years coming. So I'm with you, but I love the green one. I love the white legacy. I can't wait for that to be their home in a way for most of the games now going forward. So, so we can actually wear green at home. It's crazy. I like, know. I feel like we never wear, wear green at home ever. And, like, that's, like, 90% of the reason why I'm a Jets fan because, like, when my family growing up, like, they were Jets and Giants. So I was like, ah, oh, the Jets with green. You know, that's my favorite color. So I was like, all right, got to go with them. 
and like we barely ever wear it anymore. So I'm super excited for the New Jersey fan. But I just I just feel like that alternate if we could have done something a little like I don't know. I, I feel like they could do something hot, make it look like a plane. You know what I mean? Like like some gray and whatnot. I don't know, something crazy. I'm not an artist or nothing like that, but I just feel like we could do something. That, that would be awesome. But I'm so glad we look like a football team now. You know what I mean? That like like we look like an actual football team. And I can't wait to see the helmet out there. And I can't wait to go 17 and 0 and then 20 and 0 <laughs> and win the damn Super Bowl, Jake. I love you. Shout out to King and Dreams. He's the fucking man. That that was amazing. Maxing out the gifting. I didn't even like I don't think anybody knew you could do that. So that's amazing. Shout out to the OG King, King Lowski, everybody else. Charles Gorman, yesterday that shit had me dying, bro. I I could not <laughs> how serious he was getting about that. That was that was great. So keep it up, Jake. I love you, man. I haven't talked to you in a while, but I watch you every day, bro. Love you. Be easy. Johnny, you're the man. I can't wait to meet you at a game this year. Uh, I mean, well said. Well said. I will say, I'll take the Jets' current black jersey, though, over what they had. So at least they even upgraded there. Hey, we gained a Patreon subscriber during the show. Jacob Munez, welcome aboard to the Patreon crew. Make sure you sign up for our Discord when you become a Patreon member and get all the perks that come with your membership. Ladies and gentlemen, joining us on the phone right now is a man who needs no introduction. But we will give him one anyway. It's time for another V-Man call. Hopefully he no sleeping. Adios mio. <laughs> V-Man. Yeah, I'm wearing my Yankees cap to pay tribute to John Sterling, you know. Honestly, I'm gonna say this, you know, the Yankees have a, have a, I think, have a very good history of, you know, radio announcers. I mean, first, obviously, you have the legendary Mel Allen. Then you have Phil Rizzuto. And then you have John Sterling. I mean, I mean, name me. A, there are a few other teams that can match, you know, that level of excellence when it comes to radio announcing. Well, don't forget, Michael K did radio from '92 until 2001. That that that's true. That's also true. You know, like a long, great history. So you know, you know, best of luck in retirement. You know, best of luck in retirement to John Sterling and. You know, let's get and now let's get to football. You know, I, I agree. You really, don't want to talk about uh, your Italian heritage. <laughs> no, but I'll save something for the end, though. I'll save something for the end. You know. Oh, okay. You know, Charles didn't want to uh, dilute his family's recipe. I will dilute one of mine. Okay, so let but let's talk. You know, I agree with you know what most of the I agree with the take on you know the ta taking a tackle here. You know, with this pick. You know, look. I agree with the, one of the callers earlier said that, you know, tight end is a want, is a want, not a need. And yet tackle is an absolute need because, like, we all know that neither of the two tackles the Jets have right now are real long-term options. You know, probably the right tackle is a bit more long-term than the left tackle. But at the end of the day, you're going to need to replace both of them in the – upcoming year so it's better to get one of those out of the way now than you know wait later when maybe your options aren't as good fair i mean you're hoping you're never picking this high again for the foreseeable future so if you could lock up a bookend position on your offensive line it's not it doesn't just cover your ass this year but you have a long-term starter as they said in the clip i played i mean but if mel kuyper compared fatano to zach martin Zach Martin's going to the Hall of Fame. So, yeah, I would take him a 10 if I was the Jets if Fatano's as good as Zach Martin. You know, if you're, if you're as good as a guy who's guaranteed to get himself a gold jacket, then hell yeah. I agree. Uh, do you have a point for us on your Italian heritage at the end here, V-Man? No, like I said, I was going to – like said, uh, Charles wasn't going to dilute his family's recipe for chicken soup. I will dilute my mother's recipe for abichuela schisada. Are you, are you going to divulge it right now? Oh, yeah, of course. So okay. first off, you start like, you know, you take a medium-sized pan and you coat it with about a good coating of oil. It can be olive or canola, whatever you want. And then so then you chop up, you're going to chop up a about half an onion and you coat that on the bottom. What's different is then you add green peppers to the bottom. You cut up half a, about half a green pepper. Put it in the bottom. You heat that up. You add a beef bouillon cube. You add um, 
Puerto Rican, you had two healthy tablespoons overflowing of Puerto Rican sofrito. So you have it all in there, you have it cooked. Then you take a can of Goya red beans. <laughs> you open that, you put in half a can of, you add that, you add half a can of tomato sauce. Then you add parsley, chili powder, and oregano, and a bay leaf. And you let that cook until, you know, it's a nice, until it's a per, until it's a solid consistency, and like I said, and that is how my mother makes habichuelas guisadas. Oh yeah, and there is sazon, but not sazon. It's any sazon without con azafrán. Yeah, the big fella reminded me that there's sazon. Yeah, the 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 big fella also wants me to ask you about uh, your date, V man. Do we have another date scheduled with the uh, the girl with the meniscus injury? No, I got friend zone. Really? Oh, dude, I've lived in the friend zone for my entire life, man. I'm writing a book on it. Let's let's talk yeah. through it. What happened? Let's learn from our mistakes. The scheduling became a nightmare, and then eventually just said, you know, she told me straightforward that she's not feeling any type of romantic attraction to anything at the moment. That's Interesting. All right. Well, no, nothing wrong with it. You know, you had a good at bat. You know, I, I heard from a source. It was like a 10 pitch at bat. You fouled off a bunch of pitches. You hit it hard. You know, sometimes you hit a line drive right at someone. Yeah, I know. It, it sucks. But you, you take, you know, as a wise man once said, success consists of going from failure to failure without the loss of enthusiasm. V man, let me tell you, sometimes you end up in the friend zone, but just keep shooting. It all works out. All right. Yeah. Peace. All right, V man. Ladies and gentlemen, our mission to get V-Man a date is, is back on. Now that we know he's single and ready to mingle. Let's go. All right. Let's go, V-Man. This is my message to friend zone girl. Yeah. Deuces. All right, more calls. Gabagool Jr. is up next on our show. Maybe a first-time caller. Gabagool, are you a first-time caller? Oh, yeah, first-timer. There we go. Hey, what's it? Oh, what's up, Jake? How's it going? What's up, man? Good, good. Um, just want to say I'm a first time caller and I totally love your show being a uh, fellow Yankee and Jets fan. So thank you, man. Appreciate you calling in. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so my question is serious question with uh, Knoble being such a high prospect, do you think he has the potential to go uh, rookie of the year? With the Jets, or or where do you see him kind of landing this upcoming year? Well, I don't know if it's ever been done before in the NFL, but I, I could see Knoebel probably uh, potentially being the first person, at least in the modern era, to win Rookie of the Year and also win MVP. I think he's that special of a talent. Okay. All right. I totally agree with you. I, I, I kind of see him doing that as well, but I just wanted to get your take on it. And um, I'm also making chicken soup tonight, and I'm going to throw some corn in that mofo like no other. Special ingredient with the corn. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to be one up in Charles on that one. Gabagool, uh, great call. I mean, way to start it off. Absolutely, man. Hey, um, listen, love the show again. J-E-T-S, Jess, Jess, Jess. Hey, well done. That's how you do it. That's how you make your mark on us as a first-time caller right there. From a first-time caller to a veteran caller, ladies and gentlemen, Bobby Midnight. Bobby. Hey, Jay, how you doing? I love your shirt. I love that Bobby, shirt you're wearing. Thank you, Bobby. I appreciate it. I saw your guy, Mr. Bonesy, today. I paid him a visit at the store. I know. I heard that. You are lucky, man. He's a great guy, isn't he? Uh, he's he the best. Is he is awesome. He hooked me up with a great pair of shoes, so I'm excited. I'm going to look good on hey. my next date night, Bobby. All right. I hope you get a good woman. Oh, All yeah. Right. Uh, I want to uh, – you're a very busy guy today. You had three – you got to have a third show at 9 o'clock tonight. Well, I'm I, I'm a guest star on that show, so it's not as much heavy lifting. Well, I know, but you're a busy guy. Yeah, you know. This, it's, what time it's, do you get on this morning? You were on early this morning. Yeah, we had a we had a long show today. Then I had a meeting over at ESPN in New York to talk about the draft show. So it was a busy day, oh, but I get okay. to see Mr. Bonesy. It's been a fun day. Yes, Mr. Bonesy's awesome. Um, yeah, I'm gonna miss John Sterling. I cried when he retired. I love that guy so much. Yeah, I, I wish it wasn't so it. southern. You know, I wish he had a year to really, truly soak it all in and be appreciated uh, by the fans. But when it's time, it's time. You know, that's basically what he I said. Met him. 
I met Michael Kay and him outside the Yankee Stadium. Because I met Don Manley. I do not like Don Manley at all. You don't like Donnie Baseball? No, I don't. Why? Because this little boy asked him for an autograph. Oh, no, I don't have time to give you an autograph. The kid was crying. And I uh, opened my big mouth and I said, a bad word to him. So you, wait, I what did you say? Him. Wait, what did you say to Don Mattingly? I called him an asshole. You called Donnie Baseball an asshole? Yes. And then when uh, Michael K and John Sterling got out of their cab, they gave everybody their autographs. Yeah. Uh, well, well. To be fair to Donnie, I think he should have signed for the kid, sure. But maybe he was just having yeah. a bad day. He's known to be a nice no, guy. I want to hear a bad day. You know, this guy is, you know, he complains too much. <laughs> and then um, I uh, guess who's going to be on, you know, Hector? Uh, do I know Hector? You know, you're going to be on Jigga Sports tonight, right? Yes, I'm going on with Jigga and the guys and girls at uh, 9 p.m. Eastern. You know, Hector? Guess uh, who th- he's interviewing tomorrow? You? No, not me. Yeah, no. that's oh yeah. No, Bernie Williams. Oh, burn baby and, burn. And you know what got me so mad when Bernie Williams uh wanted to come back to the Yankees, Cashman. Oh, this is another guy who makes me so sick. He gives him a mine league contract. I I would have shoved that right up his butt. You know, because, you know, you don't treat Bernie Williams like that. Look what he did with us in the World Series, dummy. And then, you know who I liked at first base for the Yankees? Remember Tino, Tino Martinez? Yes. Oh, do I remember him? Of course I remember Tino. He won us four championships. Then we get Mr. Snowblow, you know, um, Jason Giambi. How many World Series do we get out of him? Nothing. He was smoking the lines too much on the baseline. Yeah, I'm I'm going crazy tonight, Jake. I'm crazy. Bobby, I, I like your Yankees takes. I feel like you should start like a Yankee podcast. You're fired up. Oh, I I used to have a channel. I used to do trivia on YouTube. And I rather Bobby, tri- wait a second. Can we can we can we put you in charge of having a trivia question for the audience once a week you call in with something? Yeah, I could do that if you don't uh, mind. I do. Do I mind? Of course, I don't mind. I, I think. And I what about work. if we do like a sports trivia night? Yeah, that's that. We we could eventually maybe do something like that. Maybe we'll do that on the Discord. But I want a Bobby Midnight trivia. All right. Yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah. All any right. New York, any New York question, right? Yeah, we'll keep it New York sports, but if you could make it, uh, maybe do the first couple of weeks, do uh, do jet theme trivia. If you could look up. Oh some yeah, jet no, that's questions. fine. Yeah, whatever you want. No, no, no. I thank you. You gave me my new hat. Everybody complimented you on the morning brew crew this morning. They said the very nice hat. About oh, the hat that you have. Yeah, because the Knicks are fifty and zero. Yeah, well, I, I'm talking about the hat that you have. I mean, you were wearing the Babe Ruth hat. We had to get you a modern Yankee Yeah, hat. I know. Oh, God. I, I love uh, Gator. He still has, like, old hat, remember? He oh. did a video on me. Oh, I want him to do more on me. So you when want... do you want to start this? I'll do it anytime you want. Why don't Why don't we do Trivia Fridays on the show, Bobby? You call him with a trivia question every Friday. Okay, yeah. And then what well, will the people get in the chat, though, if they get it right? Yeah, people will guess, and then uh, I'll try and guess, and if someone in the chat gets it, you know, we'll we'll shout them out. Okay, we could do that. All right. Yeah, Friday will work out for me. You work out for Friday for you? Yeah, you know what? If you can't do it Friday and we do it Thursday or Saturday one week, that's okay, too. I w- is Bonesy still in the chat? I wanted to ask him, is he related to a chef? <laughs> I'll let you two get connected on that, Bobby. Great call. I'm excited for Bobby Trivia. Tremendous. Oh, the best. Bobby, I love you. You're the best. And by the way, I had a Sabret hot dog today just for you, Bobby. I want you to know that. Jay Grow up next. What's up, Jay Grow? I am a first time, a long time caller. So where have you been, wanted, man? Let's go. I want to give you a shout out. For those of us that are not lucky enough to live in the New York market. You are providing such a service. You are our lifeblood to all things New York Jets. Thank you. It means you. the world to me. I live, you know, just outside. I am in 
deep in the heart of Eagles country. I, I call uh, putting a Jets hat on in the morning, getting dressed. Not an excuse <laughs> to tell me how much Rich Kotite stinks, but I digress. That's... We're going to have the last laugh with Hassan Reddick, and it's been a long time coming living down here. So hold on, let's 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 get into Reddick. You watched him obviously up close being there. How good of a player are the Jets getting in Hassan Reddick? They're getting a phenomenal player in Hassan Reddick. He is a sack machine. We ha- it feels like uh, my entire lifetime since Cle- the days of Klecko and Gatsno that we've been looking for a solution, a guy that can get you know uh, double digit sacks consistently year after year. We've had a couple glimpses, you know, John Abraham through the years, Sean Ellis. You thought you thought you all of a sudden they were going to be the guys, and um, you know this is exactly what we need at the time that we need it. So uh, we are getting a heck of a player. Yeah, we lost a guy who's who's who was a situational player, but we upgraded a guy for a guy who will be there on every single down and wreaking havoc, which is exactly what we need. Yeah, I, I'm excited to watch him. I, I really am. So what was it like living in Philly when the Jets finally beat the Eagles this year? Um, <laughs> ironically, I was at a concert in D.C. for the 50th anniversary of hip hop. I, w- I was watching it on my phone of all places, so I didn't get to bask in the glory. But uh, when I went to work on uh, you know the following Monday, I let everybody have it, which was great. That's awesome. I'm I, I'm happy that you called Jay Grow. That's a great call, man. I love the shirt you're wearing too. That's an you talk about that. That's truly a throwback right there with that shirt. Oh, thanks. I appreciate it, man. Uh, all my wardrobe choices have you in mind, as always. <laughs> you're the man, Jay Grow. Call all right, back, man. I'll right? call back. You be well. Peace. I, I love it. I love it. Ladies and gentlemen, it appears like our legendary caller, King and Dreams, is back. King and Dreams. What, what do you got? What's the word? What's the word, man? Hey, listen, man, um, <clears throat> guys, um, and some ladies who may be watching, I need you guys to do me a favor. You guys get Jake to 37 K. I am going to gift 50 memberships. Oh my God. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, we're we're getting there. I just checked, right? Thirty six thousand nine hundred and forty five total subscribers right now. Okay, so okay, so that means that he needs fifty five subscribers to get to thirty seven k. So you, you're you're going to drop a fifty membership spot if we hit thirty seven thousand subscribers. That's what you're telling us, Candy. On this show, yes, <laughs> it has are, to are be you, on this are show. You tapped out? Are you tapped out? The light no, you don't anymore. No. No, nah, no, nah, no. Nah, well, well, I'm, I, I'm tapped out on the membership now. Now, now, has nothing to do with my bank account. It has something to do with YouTube, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But like, if we if we hit it during the show, I don't. YouTube might not let you actually gift the memberships to people. What, what, what? Well, then I'll have to demo you or something. But uh, we we gonna make it work. We gonna make it work, bro. That's what we are gonna do, man. Yeah, the so, man. Yeah, man. So yeah, thirty seven k. It needs to be on this show right now. So share it to your friends, your grandmama, big mama, everybody. Share it. Let's get it, man. So we're 55 away right now. I'll keep refreshing here. It, it, the problem is, and you know this because you're a fellow YouTuber, K&D. Man, it's hard man. to get people to subscribe, man. Like, think about how many videos we all watch on YouTube before we even think about hitting that subscribe button. Yeah, well, you know what it is, right? You know what I mean? Um, well, well, first of all, let me rewind, right? You know, saying K and D, doesn't it sound easier than just saying like Kings and Dreams all the time? Just say K and D, bro. But uh, but yeah, like uh, as a fellow YouTuber, like it's it's so it's so difficult because you'll have people like Ninja watching, right? You know, and it's like, come on, man, like why? What you know? Why not do that? And see, the thing is, is like I would watch your channel like before I started to comment, but at least I subscribed. You know, I I at least hit the subscribe button. Yep. You know what I mean? You know, and I would like the video, you know, so I'm like, all right, you know, I'm going to show them love. And then, you know, as I see you growing and growing and growing, I'm like, okay, yeah, man, this dude is legit, man. We've gained two since you came on. So (laughs) someone out there is listening. (laughs) Yeah, man. So, so, so let's go. Let's go, man. Let's go. So we need 53 more on this show. 53 more on this show and i will be gifting uh 50 memberships oh my god we might we might be here a while king and dreams k and d i hope uh hope we don't got plans tonight nope nope (laughs) nope 
Nope. I don't, you know what I mean? Um, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't have my son today. So I, you know, I got my son tomorrow. Um, I do, I do gotta be at work tomorrow, but you know, it's all good right now. So I'm ready to, you know, I'm ready to hang out, man. I'm ready right. to hang out. I'm ready to hang out, sip some Henny, you know, um, V, v, v man, I know you got that loud pack. What's up, man? I need that loud pack. Yo, you heard? Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. And, and, uh, and, uh, we, oh, we, the people, that's another one who I want to connect with, man. But, but he's out in, um, I think he's out in like the, uh, middle East or somewhere, you know, something like that. He's they in Atlanta in now. He's in Atlanta, thankfully. But oh, he's, he's in Atlanta. In, I gotta get with you in our uh, in our Discord group because he is he weed is in there, so we will get him in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. We gotta talk on the back end, man. So I'm I'm, I'm gonna shoot you uh I'm uh, you know I'm gonna shoot you my map so we could you know ha have have a talk because um because I, I I really oh okay I got you I just saw I just, that. Yep, I yeah, just yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. I got you. Yeah, man. So, um, yeah, so, um, I'm, I'm gonna shoot you my math because uh, I definitely want to bring you out to uh, Columbia, bro. You know yeah. what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. man, we, we gonna be out there, you know what I mean, in my apartment, live streaming, you know, talk, talk, talking this Jets talk, man, you know? All right, let's, let's make it happen, all right? Yeah, man. Yeah, for sure, man. Guys, listen, let's get Jake to 37K today. This is the purpose of my all of my calls today, my gift to memberships. Stop waiting. The time is now. The time is mother now. <laughs> the time I, is now. I love it. Adam has just gifted a channel membership to let's go. There we Dre go. A, the Jet fan has just received a membership. How about that? How Fair enough, man. Fair enough. Let, let's let's keep it going, man. Let's keep it going, man. Because man, you know, Jake works hard, man. And and, and let's reward him for his hard work. Like he documented his whole thing, you know, traveling. Oh, sorry, relocating rather to New York from Houston, man. You know, so show the brother some love, man. Let's I let's appreciate you. Yeah, man. Let's 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 get it, man. Let's get it. I know we could get that 37k today, man. We got 275 watching right now, KND. So hopefully if someone out there hasn't hit the subscribe button yet, they will, and we'll go from there. See, see how many we can get. If not, we'll hit it tomorrow. Don't worry. All right. Tomorrow, you know, tomorrow, cool. But I want today, man. The time is now. The time is now. Let's yeah, go. man. Man, just been, you know, man, we've been waiting so long, man. Like, okay, so so I'm 39, bro. So, bro, like, you know, the 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 best thing that I could see is, like, when we was in 2010, when Bar Scott said the can't wait, oh my god, when I saw that live, yo, I was so hyped, man. I was so hyped when he said, Can't wait, see you at Pittsburgh. And, and, um, you know, like that's all we got. To all the non believers, how did that to all the non believers? Anybody can be beat. We're pissed off. People gave us no chance, like we barely made it in playoff. We're a good football team for all you non believers. Disrespect us. Talk crap about the defense like we ain't the third best defense in the league. All we hear is about their defense. They can't stop a nosebleed. 25th in the league, and we the one to get disrespected. Congratulations. See you in Pittsburgh. Can't wait. Yo, man, I felt that because uh because um I play I, I play middle linebacker like you know, all my life, man. So I play middle linebacker, man. So I already know. That's why I got three CJ uh, Mosey jerseys. And I think I sent you a super chat on that uh, earlier, right? Yeah. So, man, I'm, I'm ready to go, Jake. I'm ready to go. Like, I don't want to hear no, oh, we get a playoff win or we get into the playoffs. Like, nah, let's stop being cute. Let's really ball out, win sure. the AFC, win the AFC. And dominate, like yo, like let's put Patrick Mahomes on his ass and let's go. Let's motherfucking go. Let's go. Hey, we're fifty away right now. We just gained a couple more, right? So I'll keep let's you posted. Go. We'll, go, we'll go for a little while longer, and we'll see. We'll see how we do. All right. I bet. I'm. I, I, I'm. I'm a super. I'm a super chat you to keep you going, bro. I, I love got it. Do the man. Yeah, man, I, I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm a few that tank, man. Listen, man, l listen, man, you know what I mean? Like, yo, you, you see this, man? You know, this is 750 right here. BMW, man. Yeah, man, I, I'm, I'm out here, man. I'm I out here. You. I see you. Let's go, man. 
Let's go. Plays Jevin. K and D. Love that. Cha-ching, baby. Folks, let's update it. Let's see where we're at right now. 36,950. Can we get 50 more subs? Not easy to do. I wish it was. But we will do our best. Shout out to Sylvie and Nico Hall, who just signed up and officially became an Asmaniac. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, more of your calls right now. But first, Boomtown wants to know, Jake, are you related to a veterinarian? <laughs> I'm not. But Mr. Bonesy is related to a famous chef, according to Bobby Midnight. Let's go to Sneakers to Boots. He's up next. What's up, Sneakers? What's going on, Jake? Man, King and Dreams, that is amazing what you've done. Um, this Jets community, nothing beats it. We are so giving. Um, it's just a, an awesome community. So shout out to, to all the work that you do and Kings and King of Dreams. I've never seen anybody out donate. I I, 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 I didn't know, know that you could do that. I didn't even know you could do that. It's unbelievable. Yeah. So so shout out to you. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Shout out to this channel. It's an awesome community. But um you gotta get I, a new Garrett Wilson jersey, huh? I do. This is retro. I don't know what you're talking about. This is yeah, the retro right. right here. That's right. That's right. Yeah, this is the true retro. Um, yeah, so with that said, maybe bury these Adam Gase, Christopher Johnson, clown jerseys in the trash, never to be seen again. I mean, regardless, I'm I'm an idiot. I'm going to buy another bunch of Jets jerseys. I've got to get the number five. So I'm going to be spending all my money in new Jets paraphernalia. So um, it won't be, won't be hesitant to buy any, any jerseys. But it may be a blessing in disguise, though, that Aaron Rodgers never had to don this trash. Just saying. So take it for what it is. Maybe that was the one positive from last year. He never had to wear this crappy, crappy jersey. So yeah, maybe it was an omen. Maybe, you know, maybe, maybe it was a sign that the jerseys needed to go to eradicate the stench of this era of Jets football and move things forward. Exactly. Aaron Rodgers' Achilles could have been the, the whole exorcism of the, of this jersey of these five years. <laughs> so I'll, I'll take it as that and, and take it to the bank. But I know I did say I want OL, uh, offensive line or die. Um, over the past week or so, watching uh, Andrew Fiaco's breakdown of, of Roman Dunze, I am lightening up to, to maybe a receiver. I am just still like petrified that – Rodgers isn't going to be able to do anything regardless if we don't have an offensive line. Um, but I, we do need a weapon, um, and especially kind of down the road in the uh, end of the season towards the playoffs because we got to score points. Got to score points because we know we're going to want that weapon. One up, sorry. Islanders just scored a huge goal. One up in Islanders. Let's go. No, you're good. <laughs> I, I was hoping it was the Yankees because I'm about to turn them on. So No, or, well, I think the Yankee good news, too. I, you know, we just got a little pick off at first base. I think Bichette got picked off by ooh, Luis Heels on the mound tonight. Yeah, I'm all over the place right now, but I, I appreciate it. <laughs> no, you're good. Yankees got to play better uh, better defense. They've had a couple mishaps the last couple games. So yep. they got to figure that out. <laughs> but, yeah, um, the only way I would uh, consider a receiver, like I said, is if it's mostly trading up um, Marvin Harrison Jr. or Dunze. But there is that special one in 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 Knoble if we tra if we trade up to the ninth round to get him, so I'm I'm cool with that. And uh, only nine or ten more days, so I can't I can't wait anymore. April needs to hurry up. Can't wait, can't, can't wait. wait. Let's go, sneakers. Good call as always. That's right. Anyone who owns a Garrett Wilson seventeen jersey, you now have a retro jersey. That's a that's a spin zone right there. You know, it, it's funny. Our, our fans, like, I won't do that. Like, years from now, are we going to be like, man, bring back these jerseys? Or are they so bad that we're going to say no matter what, they suck? Like, there's no way 20 years from now there's going to be Jet fans who, who want these jerseys to ever be, like, in a throwback rotation, right? There's no way. No chance. Subscriber update. We're still at 36,950. So we're still 50 away. I don't know if we're going to be able to get the 50 tonight, but we'll do our best. King of Dreams writes in, call me KND, fam. KND, baby. My man said he will get 50 memberships tonight if we get 50 more subscribers. We might not be able to do it tonight, but we're going to get it within the next couple of days, which I love. We're close, folks. We are close. Three siblings writes in. We need a weapon in the first round and to get a lineman. Next pick, even if we move up in the second round. I, I think they need to come away with a weapon either in the first or second pick they make. I can't sit here and say they need to definitely get a weapon in the first round. There's ways where they could still get a really good weapon on day two. 
They could trade back an extra second, for example, and then tap into a loaded receiver class. I don't want Bowers, though. At least I don't want him at 10. No way. Comments, questions, super chats. We'll continue to cut the line. Appreciate everyone tuning in. Obviously, a long show. It's been a lot of fun. It's been wild. It's, it's really had it all. Things have been out of control. I will stay on a little while longer. But what I need to do right now is take a quick break. And when we come back, more of your calls and more of your super chats. Do you guys remember there was an incident in Las Vegas where a man attacked a Clark County judge? After this happened, I said, the guy in the video is actually a listener of the show. So not the guy who basically like Troy Palomalo over like the judge dais. But the guy that is a listener of the show is the hero who tried to immediately apprehend this wacko. And yesterday, Michael Lasso, the law clerk who helped protect the Clark County judge who was attacked in court last month, was named Citizen of the Month in Vegas. You could see our guy Michael Lasso on the left there. It's a pretty cool moment for Michael, who joins us right now. What's up, Michael? <laughs> How you doing, Jake? Good to see you. <laughs> Man, what's it what's it like being a hero? Oh my god, you know what I mean? It's it's so honestly it's just so surreal and so uh so humbling truly. I never expected it to be, you know, on SNL and TikTok and Twitter. And- While I fly this way, right? Mm-hmm. The bear love he run behind me. He fall down. Look at him, man. That's terrible. Man, put- <laughs> it's really just uh just incredible to be honest. And that leap that that man did was pretty impressive and I think that's part <laughs> of the reason why that video has gone so crazy. Uh, I mean, the guy, like, he timed the snap perfectly, right? Like, he did the full <laughs> Troy Palomalo over the – I mean, <laughs> what goes through your mind in real time as that's happening? Like, do you even have time to think? Was it all just natural reaction? Kind of take us through what's happening there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, honestly, there's no time to think for sure. I mean, it, the video doesn't even do it justice, just that how fast that uh, actually occurred. You know, I mean, one minute he's sitting there just talking about how, you know, he'll, he'll accept whatever the judge is willing to give him, and then the next minute he's on top of the judge. So when he initially made a run, I thought, okay, he's going for the door. Last thing I thought he was going for the judge, and I definitely didn't think he was ever going to make contact. It was so nice to the mayor. It was so nice to the city. It was such an incredible experience. And I mean, when the mayor first called me, I answered the phone, and I, I'm thinking to myself, who is this, the mayor? You, do you have the right number? <laughs> <laughs> the video honestly doesn't even do it justice as to just how fast it really was. I mean, it, it went from just any normal day to just, you know, honestly, just, just you know, havoc. I mean, it was uh, in a blink of an eye, and there really wasn't much time to think. You just kind of react. I mean, I remember when it happened, and, like, the... The, the video was everywhere. And then you told me that was you. And I was like, what? No way. And, and I just like, I couldn't believe it, man. Like, I know. I, you know, I wish I could have came on your show earlier, but obviously the sentencing was still going on. There were things in motion. So I just couldn't, but uh, I really appreciate you giving me a chance and coming on here. It's not every day that, you know, a listener of the show is like a legitimate hero. I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. I mean, what ended up happening? Was he sentenced? Where, where's the guy who, you know, attacked yeah, you? So, so basically, yeah, he, he was, uh, he was given the sentence he was going to get, uh, originally he's got new charges that he's facing and that's going on in, in a different courtroom with a different judge. And, uh, you know, we'll kind of see where that goes. Can you believe that when they brought me back to court, they put a muzzle alone me man yeah probably for everybody's safety man i ain't bite nobody that's <laughs> unbelievable man i love it a jet fan is a hero out in las vegas and those clips of uh judge allen oh my god uh, <laughs> those had me dead oh my god those are the best things i've ever seen uh, I don't know, I just gator bait, those, those are incredible uh yeah, <laughs> I, I believe you've been this right here i'd rather be the jake hasman heel than the robert solid truth or any day of the week but it's weird because i don't see myself as a heel i think i'm a realist i don't want to hear none of that shit you do not bring for no damn new england to win shit <laughs> unbelievable <laughs> unbelievable oh, it's too good it's too good oh my god oh, thank you again jake michael uh, you're the man appreciate you joining the show brother we have the best audience we, we i've always said it that's as good as it gets right there true we do have the best audience i've said it and i'll continue to say it all right gonna wrap up here in just a little bit more comments questions Super Chats will continue to cut our line. King and Dream says, no, let's get it today or at least tomorrow. Brooklyn. King and Dream says, I want to get, believe me, I want to get 37,000 subscribers, but I just know how YouTube works. It's hard. 
It's hard, but I appreciate your support, man. We will get it soon. We're 50 away right now, people. We can do it. Callie Jetfan is up next on the show. What's up, Callie? What up, J-A-K-E? Jake, Jake, Jake. What's good, brother? My friend, what's going on? Hey, hey, listen, man. I did sign up, and I want to let you know. You said under Sylvia, Sylvie Hall. That was me, bro. Hey, there we go. Welcome aboard. That was aboard. me. I, 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 I didn't sign up before, man, because I don't have time. I'm always either working or driving. So, you know, trying to manage these three trucks and these trailers. I catch you when I can, but I'm just trying to let you know I'm doing my part, brother. I'm already on the Discord. I'm already on this one. So I'm just giving you love and support, giving you your flowers, my brother. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate your support always, man. I always love when you call on. You you, you got it, brother. You got it. But uh, I, I can't wait for the season, man. I just can't wait. I cannot wait so these people can eat crow. <laughs> so you can, so you, as you can say, drink their tears. That's right. <laughs> Drink, drink all day tears, but Jake, I got him in this cup. Work. Ready to go. You got him in that cup. Hey, when I get home, Jake, I'm gonna get a drink. Don't worry about it, brother. I'm gonna drink for you. To all the Jake, to all the ads, man, everybody out there, J E J H J H J H J H. Woo! Yeah, let's go, Callie. Great call. Great call. Folks, earlier, if you're just tuning in, I told you that I paid a visit to a legend. I was in the neighborhood. I stopped by the great Mr. Bone G shoe store today. If you're on Patreon or you're an Asmaniac, I filmed a behind the scenes tour of the Mr. Bone G shoe store. If you want to watch the full video, you have to be an Asmaniac or a Patreon subscriber. But here's a little clip of what you're going to get when you watch the full video when I release it soon. Here we are, the Mr. Bone T Shoe Store, Alden's, Madison Ave. It's not every day you get a chance to Man, watch one of the great shoe salesmen in his prime, but here we are, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bonesy. Let's go, baby. J E T S. Jets, Jets, Jets. I'll take you on the tour. Ah, uh, here we go. This is my. Where's your studio where you call it from? This is my luxurious call. Look at how small this place is. This is the shoes in the background that you guys see. Every time I'm like this, this is me right here. Yo, Jake, my brother, Jake, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this guy right here, Mr. Bonesy? This is my brother. I'm Joe, prodigy in the making right here. The going to be one of the ultimate shoe salesmen eventually. He's, but he's the next Mr. Bonesy. He's the next Mr. Bonesy. That's right. Uh, here we are. The full video will be released soon, folks. MTV Cribs, Mr. Bonesy edition. <laughs> a day in the life with Mr. Bonesy. I don't know how the name yet. It's a working title. But well, that video will be exclusive for channel members and Patreon members. So you're going to want to watch it. All right. Got time for a couple more calls here. Let's uh, go to Dre Day. What's up, Dre that Day? That video will be exclusive for channel members. Hey, what's good, baby? Jets, Jets, Jets. I finally made it. Finally hey, made it. welcome uh, aboard. Hey, what's going on, baby? You tell me. Mute your TV. Hey, hey I'm, I, hopefully it'll be a year this year for us, man. We really need it, brother. Amen. Hey, man, hey, Dre, mute your TV that way because uh, you're live on your phone or your computer where you're calling on and the TV's a little delayed. So there you go. Yeah, Talk yeah, I just, I, just turned, I just turned my TV off. Yeah, I'm there on you both of them. Hey, first <laughs> no. time caller? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. First time caller, baby. Hey, your uh, you're jet man cave behind you there looks pretty sweet from what I can tell. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everything. That's awesome. Got... Nice. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But, yeah, first time caller. You know, I've always been watching the show for a little while. Um, came home today from work and see my name was green. Oh, got a membership today. So hey. just want to give, just want to give thanks and praise to all, all the good things that's going on in the show, brother. That's awesome. Great call, man. Uh, how long have you been a Jet fan? Uh, as, as you could, you can't tell by the grades. I've been a Jets fan since 85, brother. Wow. I love it. I love it. Um, man. I'm from, I'm, I live in Maryland right now, but I'm actually from Hempstead, Long Island. And, um, I used to live in Freeport. Al and wife was my teacher, so that's how it started for me. Wow. The hometown of uh, DeBrickishaw Ferguson, too, Freeport. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, I appreciate you calling in, man. Call back anytime. Yes, sir. Keep up the good work, Jay. J-E-T-S. Jets, 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 baby. Let's my, go. My man. Great call. Love the man cave there. How about that? Dre Day, the pride of Hempstead, Long Island. Al Toon's wife is teacher. Robert writes in, where do you rank the Jets right now? 
in terms of like the NFL as a whole, the AFC, the AFC East, I think they're the best team in the AFC East. I think Baldinger had them as third best in the AFC. I think it's fair. I If you remove the word Jets from the helmets, because it doesn't say Jets or New York on the uniforms anymore, tell me why the Jets aren't as talented as any team in the conference. The Chiefs are number one. They've earned that. They're the Chiefs. They're their own tier. But the, no one had the Ravens the one seed a year ago. It's a year to year league. Two nothing Islanders. Let's go. We want the playoffs, people. Kyle Palmari. Let's go. But anyway, I, I think the Jets are either the third or fourth best team in the conference. I think they're the best team in their division. I want to win the AFC East. I, I, I want a home playoff game. That's objective number one this upcoming season. More calls right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I mentioned the Chiefs, and it's almost like he knew. Chiefs fan has called in. Chiefs fan, hello. Yo, uh, I know it's a long way, but uh, my Cardinals are going to be in Yankee Stadium in August and then September the 1st. Hopefully you are get you, to go to that are game. Are you coming through? You uh, coming? No. August is that month where I go out, pick out half a cow, half a pig, and get ready for football season. You said you pick out half a cow, half a pig? I go out. Me and my friend split a cow. Me and my friend split a pig. So do you guys actually hunt for these animals? No, 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 no. We, we literally we literally know someone who slaughters it, like, next to us. So we'll go to his farm and pick up those to slaughter. Nice. Do you, do you watch them slaughter it personally? Oh, no. No? I don't want to see that shit. It'll probably turn me away from meat. Yeah. It, it, you know, it's, I, I've never seen it either, so I'm not sure. But yeah. Um, I also have one other thing to say. I, I don't know if I told you who my basketball team is. You have not. I grew up a Bulls fan from 96 to 2001. And then in 2002, my family flew me out to a Celtics game. And ever since then, I used to go to the games, but I don't go since uncle passed away. Like he had the money to fly me out there. But I'm like, I'm a sort of a Celtics fan, but I'm like also sort of a Bulls fan in a way. You want to be a Knicks fan instead, Chiefs fan? I, if I could... Honestly, there's one there's one thing I want to relive. If I could go back and relive the Knicks '90s championships, that would have been nice. Well, they, well, they came close, but your team well, and the Bulls kept preventing yeah. them from winning one. Oh no, I'm trying to think. I don't know if you guys won one in the '90s or '80s. I'm trying to. Oh no, it's not that. It's the Rockets. My friend told me if we could go back in time, we would go to the Rockets championship series, the one when they won in '94 and '95. Well, the the Rockets beat the Knicks. Yeah. It's a it's a painful memory for every Nick fan. Yeah, I don't mean to be so painful, but I hope your Islanders make the playoffs because my Blues suck, mm. and I don't think my Cardinals are gonna do anything this year. We're seven and nine already, and all, all yet, everyone else is eleven and five and nine and six in our division. So I'm just sitting here. I'm like, oh, we're gonna be the bottom feeders again. Yeah, look, it's a long season. I will say, Chiefs fan, it's a long season. By the way, Chiefs fan, the last Knicks championship, if you're keeping track, was 1973. But who's counting? But for the first time in 30 years, the Knicks and the Rangers both had at least 50 wins. Last time that happened, O.J. Simpson was in the news. Here we are 30 years later, O.J. Simpson once again in the news. Are we about to get another magical spring at the Garden? I hope not for the hockey team there, but I'll certainly take that for the basketball team. <laughs> One last call, then we'll wrap here. Ladies and gentlemen, BMAC. What's up, BMAC? Hey, Jake. Uh, uh, welcome uh, 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 back. Uh, uh, back on. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, We're back, baby. Yeah. Uh, 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 I just want to say, uh, you know, right? BMAC, you're. you're, you're your audio cut out there. What did you ask about Bowers? Yeah, uh, about Bowers. I think it was important that Bowers was, gonna, uh, was visiting the Jets today, right? Was he he took a visit. Yes, he took a visit today. He met with them. Uh, 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 does that make you a little nervous uh, 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 that the Jets might pick him up? And then, and then the one thing people said, uh, 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 people in the comments. I think I kind of saw someone in the comments said that. I, I look like the black uh, uh, V-man. So, uh, you know, do you do think that's true, too? That you're a, a black V-man? Is that what you said? Yeah, yeah. 
No, I, 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 you don't remind me of, of V Man at all. Actually, I don't. I don't think there's oh. anything that V Man says that that you do. Oh well, well, if that way, well, hey, well, it, well, I would take that as a compliment. You know, what I mean, I, I, I do like V Man. The, the one thing I, I, I am not like V Man is I'm not a big sleep people like him all the time. So you're never gonna catch me on napping. I know I, I, I'm I'm more of a, of a awake guy. You know I like to be awake and be. Oh, I I, I, I do sleep. You know what I mean, but I, you know not as much as him. But yeah, well, I, I mean, I I don't think it's an insult or a compliment that you're not like V Man. We love V Man, but like, there's I've never once thought you calling in being like, oh, that's just like V Man. I I think you're uniquely you, V Mac. That's why we love your calls. Yeah. Oh yeah, Charles. Uh 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 uh. You know uh. I, I didn't see Charles' apology, but be nice to the lane train, Charles. No lane train slander. And Knobel is real because I saw him yesterday. I saw him yesterday. So Knobel is real, Charles. He is. And 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 and, and, and he's going to be drafted. Might not be by the Jets. Hopefully my Packers will get him. But, yeah, Knobel is real. Now, excellent question from the big fella. He wants to know, how could Bernard sleep with Law and Order always playing? Well, right now behind me is Chicago uh, uh, PD. Right now, uh, that's what uh, that's behind me right now. So, okay, so not even Law and Order. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, I, 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 I do like Law and you know I, I am a big uh, Law and uh, Order fan. Uh, I, I do I do like the Chicago like Chicago PD Chicago uh, uh, file. You know what I mean? I, I do like those shows. Well, there you go. BMAC, excellent call out of you. My man. Put that Rodgers jersey on next time you call in, though. I need that. We sent BMAC Aaron Rodgers jersey last year. Ladies and gentlemen, Lenny checks in. Cannot figure out how to gift. Can you gift 10 memberships for me with a $50 super chat? Cha-ching. <laughs> All right, let's make it happen for Lenny. I'm going to gift on his behalf 10 memberships, but to do that, it's going to take me a second here. So I need everyone to stand by, and we're going to gift in honor of Lenny. Not one, not two, not three, but 10. That's right, 10 as Maniac membership. Hold on. It'll take me a second here. Got to upload it on a, a separate screen to do this, but we will do it. While I get this situated to actually do, here's what I'm going to need uh, from the audience here. I'm going to need I'm going to need a little time to get it ready. So enjoy this, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for base, base, and Jake. Get it started, Gator. Base, base, and Jake. Base, base, and Jake. Base, base, and Jake. Base, base, and Jake. Well, Super Chats always cut the line And the boy Hello Dance is really fine And she's so sucking and back them chips My seniority, so you know she gets real happy Real happy if that female book is a run Hey Gator, it's a family show Oh yeah, I forgot Base, Base, and Jack Base, Base, and Jack Base, Base, and Jack Base, Base, and Jack Folks, it has been done in honor of Lenny, a.k.a. Brooklyn Born. Ten memberships have officially been gifted, and these are the ten who received it. Ladies and gentlemen, Matt Shaw, Jose Lopez, Cheats Fan, J.D., Brian Blount, Alex Levine, Greg Scott, Lauren24, Doug Johnson, and Ross, you are now officially in As Maniac. And how about Cheats Fan, who just called the show? Picking up a membership there, courtesy of Lenny. Can't think of a better way to end a nearly two-hour stream. I think we've done four hours of jet streaming today. And people ask me, what am I going to talk about every day? The answer, I don't know. That's for the Asmaniacs to decide. And what a show it's been. Shout out to everyone. Uh, as we end this recording, we're at 36,950 subscribers. I'm hoping the people that are watching this after the fact can pick up the slack and get us another 50 subs so we can hit that 37,000 threshold. Unbelievable. Appreciate everyone for their support. Thanks to everyone who 
Made it rain today on the program. All right. Got to use the money phone. If you want more Jet content, shout out to Jigga. I'm going to be on the uh, Morning Brew YouTube channel tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern. So I'm going to go get something to eat and then get right back to talking Jets because that's what we do this time of year. Thanks again, everyone, for their support. Robbie Sabo from Jets X Factor will be the guest tomorrow morning in his weekly spot. Thanks again to everyone. Couldn't have done it without you. J-E-T-S. Jets, Jets, Jets. I'll talk to you guys soon. And in honor of the fact that ESPN New York is providing a signed Garrett Wilson photo for us to use as an awesome giveaway during our mega cast, why don't we throw it back to time when Garrett Wilson and I were hanging out? I'll talk to you guys soon. Go Jets. Yeah.